Hey everyone, welcome to the East Ham Windmill in East Ham, Massachusetts. This is believed to be the oldest and last known working grist mill on Cape Cod. I love pre-industrial revolution technology, so let's head inside and check it out. Okay, so while we're heading inside, if everybody could click that like button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enable notifications, that would be awesome. Okay, so heading inside, here we have the main floor of the windmill. We can see the central shaft running up to the top of the windmill. And looking around the exterior walls, we see a lot of decorative and ornate pieces. So let's go ahead and take a look around up here. As we walk up here, we'll take a look at some of the stuff. They've got some pictures, some information about the windmill and Cape Cod. We've got some more pictures here. This looks like when the mill was first moved here. We've got a old stone wheel. And some more pictures. This would be the brake used to stop the equipment. Got some more information here. We got some pictures. So heading over this way. Here we see the hopper. This is where you would dump your grain or corn, for example, in. It would go down that chute and into the grinding wheels. You can see the shaft right above here. That is what provides the turning power to this equipment. So looking down here, here is where your corn meal, for example, would be dispensed. And there's a bucket that you would use to take it with you. Here we can see the two stone plates. Now the top one would be turning and the bottom one would stay stationary. And then your cornmeal, for example, would be ground inside and deposited out into that bucket. Here we can see a shovel used to pick up stuff and some more decorative pieces. Here's a old cannon. This is just obviously a replica. So let's go ahead and head up the steps here. You gotta be very careful on these steps, they're steep but not difficult to climb. And you can feel how hot it is in here, especially if you get upstairs. So here we are on the second floor. Taking a look around here, there is the central shaft. Here we can see the central shaft. Now this piece of wood is connected to a gear system, and that piece of wood at the top running horizontal is connected to the blades outside the windmill. Here we can see the brake. Now this is used to stop the gears from spinning so that such that the equipment below would not be turning. Looking around the walls here, it seems a lot of people have written their names. Uh, there's a sign telling people not to write their names. There's a guest book downstairs. I'm going to try and take a look at some of the gears again here, but I may need to turn my light on. It's a little dark. Okay, so I turned the light on my cell phone on here to see if I can get a little better view of the gear system. There is the large vertical gear, which transfers its power to the horizontal smaller gear, and turn turns this wooden shaft. As you can see below there is the equipment directly below us. That equipment would be turning and allow you to grind your grains. You would come here give them your grains and the mill keeper would charge you a small fee for his services. So heading back down the steps here, go ahead and head outside and check out the outside of the mill. Heading out the back door here. So if we look up and over to the right you see a large piece of wood. That piece of wood has a rope hooked up here. You would hook that to a horse, and the horse could then turn the top of the windmill to have the blades face into the wind to get the most optimal power for your equipment, which was pretty ingenious given the technology of the time. So these blades would normally have cloth wrapped around them to obviously catch the wind. So I hope everybody enjoyed this and thought it was interesting. I definitely did. I love uh, pre-industrial revolution technology. 
gonna go ahead here and uh, show you a schematic of the windmill. So here we have some schematics of this windmill. Now I thought this windmill was really cool. I love pre-industrial revolution technology and how everything works together without the use of any kind of electricity or metal. Everything you saw here was wood and stone. I hope you guys liked this video. As always, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to enable notifications, and I will see everybody soon.